Hey everybody. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying uh, this week's uh, episode and uh, we had a lot of fun. I had a friend come all the way, long ways, and did some pike fishing with me uh, yesterday and uh, he had a great time. Uh, he caught a few fish. We were trying to target those big trophies. Didn't, didn't quite get the trophies we wanted, but we really had a lot of fun. Spent two days together. And hopefully we'll spend some more time later on before he goes back home. We did have a good time out there. A little rough yesterday in the wind and cold. Like I said, we, we had a great time together. Hopefully we can spend more time down the road and in the future. We did come a long ways from, from the States and we had a good time. Give me permission to show a little bit on YouTube with them and we did have a lot of fun. So you guys, I hope you I hope you enjoyed everything, and we'll see you on the next episode. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after these fun fishing tours with the master and Andy's fishing journals. Yeah, more on canals. So I thought I'd do a little casting. This, this is the first time in two years I've seen the water moving in the canal here. That one of my favorite lakes is one of these grassland prairie lakes that I fish a lot. I fished it all winter. And uh, finally we're seeing, seeing some water. So now the pike and trout and all that kind of stuff will come back into the fishery. And this will probably be the last time we see this uh, waterway this low. So I thought I'd come down here and give it a few casts. Look at even the pelicans are sitting there at the mouth of the, where the water is flowing into the lake. And that's where we're going to go down and do some casting. We might hook into a fish, you never know, a big one. And now that even this little, this used to be bone dry here, going across, it used to be bone dry going across here, uh, over the winter months, right into fall of last year. And now the water's flowing, and now we've got water touching that other impoundment, so we're going to have fish back in there because it goes all the way into the lake. So there's some more water for me to work and check, see if I can catch some fish in it. Stick with us, we'll see what we can do. God, I'm herding the pelicans out into the main lake. Hmm, it's pretty neat, eh? But look, this is normally all underwater and we're fishing by boat here in April every year, but this year, it's the lowest I've seen it. Fishing's been good, though. I'm gonna give her a try in this canal and see what happens. Next. On first cast on shore. Bang! Got a nice pike. See, it does pay to go and check it out. There's the canal. Water levels are lower than they've been. The pelicans are laying over there. And I just did a few casts. About, uh, probably about 50 casts in and finally found a fish. Just like that. Using my Backwoods Premium Rods. Andy Vanderplu, the Master Angler. And Pro Staff for Backwoods Rods. So. There you have it, and Rapala, and on and on it goes, woohoo! Rapala rods, but today I'm using a backwoods rod, the Master Angler Guide Special. And that's the way it goes. Nice rod, beefy rod. Now if you want good custom built rods, get a hold of backwoodsrods.com. Talk to the nice, friendly staff there, and they'll set you up with a nice custom rod. Just like that. That's that. Next. Right on. We got a big fish on. Woohoo! And all we're doing is bathing. Yeah, I just let it sit. Okay. Just trying to see if we got a fish on. Hey, hey. Out in Scott's boat, got a 10 pounder on. <laughs> oh, it's just a weed pike. <sighs> okay, I'll get her done. Next. Hey, welcome to Annie's and Scott's fishing journals. Here we are out in Scott's boat, and he got me on a fish finally. <laughs> Look at that. Got a hog on here, Scott. Whoa! Probably a minnow. Probably a minnow. Look at that rod just bending. Whoa, the drag's going. Maybe I should turn the motor. Too much fun! I've never seen anyone winch one in with such finesse before. 
<laughs> and, and catch fish between your legs. Oh, did he get off? Oh, no, there he is. Water skiing fight. They may say we don't have any fun. There you go. Fish on. Whoa! Oh, yeah. This is a good one. Ooh, he ate the spoon. Look at him. <laughs> there you go, Mr. Pike. Double header. Hey. Sires, good job. Double header. Double header. And we have fun, boy. Do we have fun? Hubba hubba. Double header. Here. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. See you later. Bye. Finally, Scott and I have been pounding hard all day. He threw out his cast out his spoon, and guess what? He's got a 20 pound pike on. Yeah! 20 pounder! Woohoo! Yeah, that's a nice one. Hey? It's a high five before you don't land them. Okay, just kidding. But, oh, okay, where's the landing net? This ain't gonna land them. What the heck? That's no good. Okay, guys. Don't do this at home. Scott and I are seasoned veterans. I'm gonna get in there, and you're gonna you're gonna help film this while I land because I don't want to drop my camera. I'm not telling fuck. Oh come on! Woohoo! He's barely hooked. Okay, he ain't no twelve. He's no twenty pounder, but he's at least twelve, fourteen. I'll give him. No way. Get by eyeball. I can't believe I don't have my camera. I'm rolling. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna land him. So you sure? You don't want that to Oh, I'm going to hand bomb him. You just oh, be careful. He's, he's barely hooked, too. That's 50 pounds, man. Oh, well, get, we can weigh him. Do you got a weigh scale? Okay. No. Here we go. We got no landing net. We're good. Okay, careful, careful. Hold him steady. Hold him steady. Because I got no landing net, and I don't want to rip my hand off. Here we go. Bring it over here. Oh, he splashed with us. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I went. Oh! Ah! <laughs> we got no landing net, and he's posing beautifully. Let's hold steady. Hold steady. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it steady. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh we're gonna get him! Yeah, we landed him! All right, yeah. That's at least a couple of still pictures for me. Okay, you hold him. Yeah. Get the hook out of there, so you don't get hurt. <laughs> That's a good fish. Okay. He's, he's, I give him 12 anyway, to 14. Right, right here on the meaty okay, pony part. Lock okay, your thumb. Some pictures, some stills for me. Okay, here we go. We're going to reset the camera, stand by, and then we'll be right back for the release. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. My buddy always opens the awesome. No. Don't no, do that one first. And then do one like that where he's hanging down beside you. So Okay, nice fish, Scott. High five. All right. All right. Yeah, try me. Okay, let the release here. Let's get the release. Gently put him in there. Yeah! Nice fish. Woohoo! Yeah, try me again. That was nice All right, good fish. All right. Oh, on your little cam loop, you didn't. Hey, there we are on today's uh, Andy's Fishing Journals with Scott. And he got the big fish for the day, so he gets the big dink award. And me, I get the little guys. Uh, we had a lot of fun. Got out in Scott's boat, caught a few pike. Uh, let my boat rest for a few days. And we caught a few nice pike. And off we go. On to the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed our, our fun fishing session with Andy's Fishing Journals.